Better globe for a better future. I would like to also explain a little bit what Better Globe Group is doing. There are several, several companies, some is in Norway, and, and some will be in Kenya, Uganda, in Tanzania, uh, Sudan, and Ethiopia, which are the five countries in East Africa which we are going to work on in the years to come. We have huge goals, and we're going to break world records, uh, although people think we might be crazy uh, that put so big goals up but they have to, to look up at what we are doing and see and get just by the result. That's what we want. We have big goals and we want to have a lot of good people to, uh, to help us reaching our goals in all the continents of the world. The only way I think we can do that is to help people make more money. And my first goal after being, or, or thought after being in Africa for all these times, doing business and know a lot of people in all kind of uh, levels, uh, I found out that if we go to eradicate poverty, we have to do something to help the most, where most of the people are. So we are, first and foremost, we are planting trees, massive. We have the aim to be the biggest tree planting company in the world. And uh, they have started planting trees on the Mwingi side, on Kyuso side. I'm sure they will do the same here. And I want to applaud the cooperation between Tan and the River Development Authority and uh, Better Globe. A group because this is a way to go. May I also take this opportunity to thank the Better Globe Group for what they are doing in Africa and we are happy that they are having now a presence in Uganda, in the areas of pre-planting, microfinance for agriculture and also education. Better Globe has the first pilot project in Kenya of tree planting in Kiambere. We have there both nurseries for diatropha, nurseries for neem trees, nurseries for mokau trees. We have also planted already 100 hectares of the three species I mentioned. As you can see from the picture, mokau tree is one of the fast growing mahogany trees of the world which grows in semi-arid areas. They can become 50-60 centimeters bowl in diameter after only 20 years as you can see from the pictures. We have the Mokau tree planted already uh, in a quite a number of them in uh, Kiambere but we also have in vitro production in a university in Belgium and we have a picture here showing the Mokau vitro and the other Mokau post vitro, which means it is planted in the pot, directly from the laboratory. This is the way Better Globe will produce millions and millions of very good quality Mokau trees for the future. From the overview of the land, you can see from this picture that we have a 60,000 hectare of land for planting mokau. The land is very dry and that's where we're going to plant the members trees in the future. I can just uh, add on that I have checked a lot of uh, mahogany prices and qualities and everything and Jan he made a comparison with mokau, uh, African and American mahogany and teak. And in fact, mahog our mahogany tree, Mukau, comes out very well on top. You know, it beats uh, hardness, uh, most of it, only teak is a bit harder, but the qualities are very similar. So, you know, it, it can compare, be comparable to any teak mahogany on the market. I think it's a fantastic tree. It is. This tree has gone through laboratory tests. It is tested on strength, on hardness, on bending, everything. We will grow big and very fast and people will be happy to be associated with us not only because we make the land green but also because we do real development by providing jobs and helping people around these lands to have a better life. You see there's lots of ways and even our policy is that we will establish the processing industry on site, meaning 
we're not going to put everything in a lorry and then go to industrial area in Nairobi to start the processing there. No, we will do it here, which will again mean development, electrification, jobs for the people, supporting industries, people that want to eat, little restaurants, shops, meaning when we will come out in the countryside, we will become a pool of development for the whole area. So that's our policy, and that's what we're going to do. Petter Globe has only one product, trees, and nothing is more needed by our globe itself, if the next generations are going to survive. It is not possible to fight poverty, stop desertification and improve the welfare of poor people if there is no will and obligation among well-situated people to contribute in eliminating the human abasement that poverty stands for. Better Globe wants to create a movement of millions of people who wants to make a difference, change the world for the better and fight poverty and global warming in the process. Our only product is trees, and it needs no import or export, no shipment, no need to test and get acceptance of products in any country, no custom clearance, no storing of products, and almost no product knowledge. And the more trees you buy, the richer you become, directly. So my name is Jan, and I'm from Sweden, southern part of Sweden. And this is my first time to Kenya and I'm here to see with my own eyes how Better Globe works with planting trees and promoting this great idea to my friends and people in Sweden. And I really think this is a fantastic opportunity to help uh, people in Kenya and Uganda to help themselves to plant trees and by that trying to fight poverty. My feeling is this is really for, for, for real. I, I, I've touched it now, so I really can see that this is not only talk, this is happening right now here. And that was the important thing for me to see. And even to show other people, I, I, I will show this for because I, I have been here, I have seen it with my own eyes. And now I can really tell from my heart that this is for real, this is not only talk. That will help us getting kick started here. And that's what I wanted to do. And also, in order to have a foundation which has a lot of money to be able to help the, the street kids and the poor people, we need to find the money. And I'm a strong believer in not just charity, but I'm, I'm a strong believer in really getting sustainable charity. So that means we have to make a way to create money that comes into the foundation. That's why I suggest that if she becomes the uh, sort of representative for a better globe here, when every time we sell some trees to somebody, the proper portion is Mystica Foundation. And also, I have a lot of business ideas that Mystica, as a Mystica, can do, and then get a profit back to the foundation. Because her life, she doesn't need uh, more money than she needs for a house and a car and, and eating and so forth and so on. And she would like to take the, all the extra she can produce, which can be a lot, and give it to the poor people. And I like that passion she has. And I endorse it very much and I would like to use, use my experience to help her as much as I can. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.